Good day, Kavibal, and welcome to our Learn at Home Facebook Live webinar. For the discussion today, the topic will be on screen time and tech addition, addiction. How much screen time is too much? Before we begin, take note of the following reminders. Make sure you are registered to the webinar to have your e-certificate of participation. Visit certificate.vibalgroup.com to generate your proof of attendance. Place your questions in the comment box allotted during the session and they will be addressed by our speaker later on. Share the video using hashtag LearnUs1PH as our official hashtag to our Vibal webinars. Experience learning, Kavibal! And now, to proceed with our webinar this evening, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished speaker today. Ms. Maria Lailani P. Ramirez is a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in General Science from the Philippine Normal University. She is pursuing her degree in Master of Arts in Education major in Science Education at the National Teachers College. She is currently serving in the public school system for eight years at the Novaliches High School, a research advisor and item writer for the Bureau of Evaluation and Assessment. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Ms. Maria Lailani P. Ramirez. Good evening, Ms. Jillian. Ayan. So, good evening, Kabibal. Good evening, everyone. Isa na naman pong um, magandang biyana sa puno ng kaalaman na naman po tayo ngayon. Again, I am Miss Leia Ramirez. And our topic for tonight is screen time and tech addiction and how much screen time is too much. Yan. So, question natin yung talaga ngayon kasi babad na babad tayo ngayon. Wala tayong magagawa kundi... Um, sa ating mga screen dahil ito yung communication natin ngayon. But before I start, may I share something with you? You can't upload love. You can't download time. You can't Google all of life's answer. You must actually live some of your life. Sometimes we are too busy focusing with our work. Tapos yung pahinga mo na lang yung pag-scroll sa Facebook, pagla-like-like ng mga pictures ng ibang tao, panonood ng mga videos sa Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Nakakalimutan minsan natin yung sarili natin. Pero tama ba yun yung pag-scroll-scroll natin nun? Kasi ang sinasabi natin, pahinga na natin yun eh. So let us find out that, that out tonight on how you'll know if you are spending too much time on your device. Okay, so there's an article by the New York Times. Ang sabi dito, COVID-19 and the screen time battle. Coronavirus ended the screen time debate and the screens have won. Diba? Dami natin ito narininig lagi ng magso-social detox ako. Kasi masyado na ako nakatingin lagi sa device ko eh. Sa, lagi na lang ako nasa social media. Mag-abstinence ako. Tapos Marami tayong narinig niyan. Tapos biglang nag-pandemic. And then, eto na tayo ngayon. Wala na tayong magagawa, di ba? Pero sabi nila, mas masama daw sa atin ang screen. Uh, masyado nasa screen natin. So, saan ba ito nagmula? So, let us find out on the history of technology and concerns. So, nagsimula ito ng 16th century. A Swiss scientist warned people about the dangers of over information that is going to be released from the printing press. That scientists believe that it will bring confusion and harm to people's minds. Ah, kasama daw yan. Then, two centuries later, in the 18th century, nauso naman ng mga newspapers. So, marami nang nakaka-access ng newspapers. Tapos, isang um, French um, scientist sabi niya, nakakasama daw to kasi nag-isolate tayo, ma-isolate yung mga readers. And then comes um, 19, uh, 20th century. Ito namang radio naman. Sinasabi nila pag uh, nakakawala to ng balance sa mga students, nakakawala ng balance ng pag-aaral. And then yun na lang yung aatupagin nila, pakikinig sa radio. And then comes the comics. Ito comics, very interesting to eh. Hindi ko to alam before. And then, nagkaroon pala ng pagbaband nito sa United States, sa US. Nagkaroon pa ng Senate hearing about comics. Imagine that, may Senate hearing because of the comics. Bakit nagkaroon ng Senate hearing? Kasi may mga grupo ng uh, moral act 
crusaders, they asserted that these comic books um, is a threat. So it is a threat to the nation. Bakit? Kasi daw, um, kinukorrupt nito ang minds ng mga kabataan. Uh, sinisira nito ang pagbabasa ng mga kabataan kasi may, diba, may mga pabalbal na salita dyan, di ba? And then, sinasabi nila that they will make the students delinquent. Ayan. So, ano nangyari? So, may mga groups ngayon, nagbuo ng mga groups na ang sinasabi, ah, uh, Ayaw nila dito sa comics. Ang ginawa nila, nag- nagrarally sila, kinolekta nila yung mga comics sa, lans- uh, sa mga different stalls, and then sinunog nila. Sinunog nila yung mga comics dahil sa ang alam nila, nakakasama yun. Diba? So, criticize nila yung comic books. And ganun ka tindi yung kanilang um, inis to sa comic books that time na nag-ban sila na um, bawal yung mga gantong language, gantong mga pictures kasi sabi nila nakasira din daw yun ng art appreciation kasi ibang um, art style sa comics, ba diba? So nakasira din daw yun. So, and then comes the time na meron namang television. Sabi nila addictive and isolating daw ang TV. Diba? Addictive and isolating. And then, 1970s, na uso naman ng Atari. Ayan, games na. Sabi nila, ad- addictive din daw to. And then, it will lead to aggression daw ng mga kabataan. Ayan. And then, ayan na yung computers. Ayan, laging sinasabi ng nanay natin na ah, nakakasama yung computer na yan. Yan talaga, kakakomputer mo yan. O, diba? Yan yung linya lagi. Kakakomputer mo yan. O, ngayon naman, kaka-cellphone mo yan, di ba? So, lagi natin yan narinig. So, sabi ng DepEd, ayan, meron tayong suggested screen time for learners. Ayan, it is based on the Department Memorandum 2020-00162. So, susundin natin to, kindergartens, we have, kindergarten pupils, we have maximum of one hour screen time. For grades 1 to 5, we have maximum of one and a half hour screen time for grades 6 to 8 maximum of 2 hours screen time and for grades 9 to 12 maximum of 4 hours screen time and we have to take note that 2 hours yun sa morning and then 2 hours sa evening so we w- should uh, follow that that suggested time so ano nga bang dinala sa atin itong pandemic na to ano we all know that this pandemic has brought to us and not just the students but most of us na nasa bahay lang tayo most of the time tayo ang adults na eh lalabas lang tayo kung kailan talaga kailangan ba? or for work talaga. Now, what is the effect of the pandemic on our screen time? Sabi dun sa isang study, up to 60% increase in screen time in youth. Sa youth pa lang to, what more tayong adults na yung trabaho natin talagang um, karamihan sa atin online na din, ba? And major increase in daily users noted by the digital game distributors. So, mas marami nag online games ngayon, kagaya ng sabi ko na nakaraan. Um, wait lang, nandiyan na yung teacher namin, nagla- uh, bilisan na natin yung game. So, imagine that eh, pag nasa school, ang ginagawa nila, nakikipag-usap sa classmates, ba? And then, of course, online learning, mas dumami ang time ng mga bata sa screen. And then, limited in-person social engagement leading to desire for online connection. Since hindi nila nakakasama yung friends nila, tayo rin mismo, hindi rin natin sila nakakasama, yung mga friends natin as adults. So, we connect the, through them through online. And then, reduction in activities outside the home with increased use of screens to replace those activities. Since we cannot go outside, ayun na lang, naglalaro na lang tayo sa bahay. Yung mga kabataan, ba? naglalaro na lang sa bahay. Yung mga adults, yan... Ako, gumagawa ng mga videos, mga lesson videos, ba? So, wala, wala tayong choice kundi gamitin yung mga devices natin sa bahay to connect with others and to replace those activities. Now, the, the real question is, will my child develop a screen addiction? Ba? Sabi sa title ng talk ngayon, talaga bang may tech addiction? So, actually... Some doctors and specialists are not comfortable in using the term addiction. Medyo ayaw nila yan gamitin yung term na addiction na yan. Why? Kasi um, hindi siya pwedeng i-compare sa drug addiction na may nangyayaring uh, 
rewiring sa ating brains. And in, in their studies, wala naman nangyayaring rewiring of the brain. So there's no consensus on how to define problematic behavior or how to measure it. So wala pang measurement talaga ng screen addiction. And they are saying this, hindi di screen addiction, ginagawa nila itong problematic behavior. Okay, again, hindi siya screen addiction but a problematic behavior. So there is no evidence based on literature, wala pang studies niyan. And brain imaging studies, sabi ko nga sa inyo, wala pa silang nakikitang rewiring of the brain compared sa drug addiction. Addictive behaviors are a consequence of multiple individual and environmental factors. So kung meron man silang addictive behavior na minamanifest, it's not because of the screen time addiction. May uh, ibang factors. Okay? May, may dagdag factors. Now, time spent on digital technology alone causing addiction is a misinterpretation. So tignan natin bakit siya misinterpretation. Because we have to take note that not all screen time is created equal. Hindi siya pare-parehas. Okay? Some of it may be passive, such as yan, binge watching, pati TV, um, Netflix, Netflix, ayan, panonood ng K-drama, and also the use of social media. So passive yun. However, there are also interactive, collaborative, and creative ways people are engaging in digital media. Like kids and adults are creating music. Di ba nakikita natin sa TikTok, so sabi nila, pakigawan nga ito ng tugtog. Di ba? Tas, uh, mag, magra-rap sila, tapos sasabay ng tugtog ng iba, makikipag-collaborate sila. And then yung iba naman, gagawa ng sound, and then yung iba lalagyan ng lyrics. Di ba ang galing, nakikipag-collaborate na sila through social media. And also digital art, I remember... Um, nung science month namin sa school, meron kaming poster making contest. And in the poster making contest, uh, meron kaming digital uh, arts. Ayan. So they can use their phones, mga apps, ayan, sa paggawa ng posters. And just using the apps and kanilang mga daliri, ang galing nila. So nagagawa kagad nila yung posters na yan. So, and also playing with their friends online. Diba? Hindi lang basta laro yun. Kasi ako mismo naglalaro. And we are developing social pro-social behaviors such as working in teams to reach their goals. Diba? Kailangan nilang makipag-usap sa ka-teammates nila kasi they have their goals. Diba? So yun yung nabuo nila doon na social behavior. Yung mga ano, kamag-anak na hindi nabibisita. Pwede mag-video conference calls. Diba? So those are the use of it. And of course, meron ding benefits of the digital media. Una na dyan is the evidence that digital technology can be beneficial for children's social relationship. So sabi ko nga kanina, dati yung break time nila, spend nila with their friends without using their phones. You know, punta tayo sa canteen, ganyan. Without using their phones. Ngayon, pag break time nila, anong gagawin nila? Siyempre, hawak nila yung phones nila, nakipag-usap sa friends. ba? And then, literature suggests that no use and excessive use can have small negative impacts on mental well-being, whereas moderate use can have a small positive in impact. So yung konti lang at hindi gumagamit, small negative. Tapos yung tamang katantaman lang, small positive. So napakaliit ng impact sa atin ito, no? ng paggamit ng um, digital media or ng ating screens. Okay? And improve access to a wide variety of educational resources. So available online na yung mga pinag-aaralan ng mga bata. Sila mismo nagahanap online ng mga sagot sa mga assignments nila and modules nila, activities nila. So, nakakatulong din to lalo. Lalo na ngayon, available din sa Bibal ang Learn at Home Kit. So, ano ba tong Learn at Home Kit na to? So, a Learn at Home Kit is a free online starter kit that contains printable supplements, activity sheets, and test booklets that's good for 10 weeks of budgeted learning aligned to the curriculum. So, ito yung example ng mga Learn at Home Kits na available sa Bibal. We have academic book, supplements, test booklets, activity sheets, and teach at home guide. Importante itong teach at home guide. So, hindi ka naman mamamablema kung um, napasobra ka ba sa time, sa student, or sa anak, sa child, 
napasobra ka ba sa turo sa kanya sa pag kasi pwede tong um, learn at home kits na to it is available um, printed and digital so di ka na mag-worry kung yung time ba na ginagawa niya pag google niya sa pag-aaral sa pagsagot ng mga academic books and test booklets here available at the learn at home kit ay nakakasama ba so hindi na kayo mag-worry because meron siyang guide okay so ano ba what does the learn at home kit offer so each kit covers english filipino araling panlipunan science and math and it comes again with teach at home guide for parents and facilitators for monitoring of the child's learning progress so, hindi na kayo mamomoblema pa doon covers key curricular areas or learning competencies aligned with the DepEd's K to 12 curriculum so aligned siya sa um, kahit mapa-private school ka man o public school, don't worry because it's aligned with DepEd's K-12 curriculum. And again, it's available in both print and digital versions. So kung feeling mo um, nagda-dry na yung eyes ng anak mo, minsan kasi na, doon yung nagmamanifest, eh. Mins, minsan dry eyes na sila. Um, minsan kasi nakatutok sila sa screen and then the electric fan, kaya nagluluha yung mata nila, nagpo-produce ng um, luha. It's because of um, nakatutok yan sa fan, na sobran. So if minsan ganun yung bata, of course you can opt for the printed version. So this is the example of what's inside the kit. And paano ba yan ma'am? Paano ba yan na download? Okay, paano sabi niyo ma'am free yan? So paano yan? So just go to vibalgroup.com slash learn at home. So screenshot niyo na yan para after ng talk ko, puntahan na yan, i-download na yan. Choose from the educational materials such as teach at home guide, supplement, activity sheets, test booklet, and academic book. So after clicking that, pagkatapos mong mamili kung ano ba yung gusto mo, Pili ka ulit kung anong grade level. Which grade level is it? Primary, intermediate, and secondary. And then, just click download. Again, it is for free. Kaya mamaya, after nito, download na again sa bibalgroup.com slash learn at home. Okay, so next is it promotes interactive engagement with learning resources, games that improve fine motor coordination, task completion, and foster collaboration with others. Just like sabi ko nga sa mga games ngayon, bakit ba sila um, engaged doon? Because they can collaborate with others. May mga um, task completion. Kagaya sa classroom, yung gamification, may mga different tasks silang kailangan i-complete. Kaya yung mga bata, kahit online yon na game, may natututunan sila. Okay? Because may mga tasks silang gustong matapos. Diba? And allows for creativity and freedom of expression. Kagaya nga sabi ko sa inyo kanina, they can collaborate with other artists, di ba? Free lang, online, sa TikTok, sa Instagram, di ba? And can help foster independence. So they are independent in uh, in answering or in the in their games, spreading independence, spread, independent or by group. So for example... Ito yung schedule ng bata for the whole day. Paano natin malalaman is it too much na yung ginugugol nila sa kanilang device? So, halimbawa, ang schedule niya is sleep, school, homework, meals, extracurricular activities, house chores, physical activity, media, unstructured time, and family time. Mas kita yung adults makaka-relate dito, okay? So, paano natin malalaman? So, yan yung schedule mo. If na replace ng screen time mo etong mga to sleep eating regular meals play time family time physical activity and social interactions once mapalitan ng isa sa mga ito doon mo na masasabi na may behavioral problem ka na or yung bata kasi these are important part of our activities. Naapektuhan na yung mga core activities mo, yung tulog mo, pagkain mo, di ba? So, imbis na minsan kasi uh, sasabihin mo, isang episode na lang, isang episode na lang ng K-drama, di ba? Bago ka matulog. Oh, so, ano naapektuhan doon? Yung sleep mo. Di ba? Imbis na kumakain ka, ano naapektuhan? Yung break time mo, imbis na ikakain mo, naglalaro ka. Di ba? 
Imbis na physical activity mo na maglinis ng bahay na umikot-ikot sa bahay, napalitan siya dahil nakaupo ka sa mo. Mapahinga lang ako, maglalike-like lang ako dito. ba? Diba? So, napapalitan siya. Sa kaka-next-next mo ng mga episode sa K-drama, may nagsasacrifice ka ng important activity sa araw mo. So, we'll, you just have to take note of that. Now, anong gagawin natin? So, sabi natin, the most powerful tool that we have is ourselves. No? And you as parents, as teachers, diba? children learn by the set of examples that we show to them. Yan, yung sinasabi ni um, Albert Bandura sa kanyang social modeling. Yan, we learn skills, values, motivations, and many other things from those who are around us. Yan. So, dapat ang core dito, dun, let us not forget that the relationship between the child and the parent is always at the core and the most, always most, the most important. Pinakamahalaga siya. Okay? And kasi minsan, um, example nito ah, may isang group ng bata, isang study to, isang research to, na may isang grupo ng mga bata, ang pinapanood nila si Mickey Mouse. Okay. So si Mickey Mouse, meron siyang ginagawa. Ang ginagawa niya ay um, steps ng paglalaba. So yung paglagay ng mga damit sa washing machine. Okay. Ang character is si Mickey Mouse. And then the second group, nanood naman sila ng same na cartoons. Kaya lang ang actor or ang main character, hindi si Mickey Mouse. Hindi kilalang ano, cartoon character. Okay. Unknown to them. So, nung nag-test na sila, pinagawa ulit yung procedure ng paglalaba. Okay, so ang, ang nakaalala ng steps ay yung kay Mickey Mouse. Yung kilala si Mickey Mouse, yung group 1. Yung second group, medyo hindi nila naaalala. So, minsan kasi hindi adults, um, parents ang nagiging influencer. Okay? Minsan trusted others. Ayan, may, nagkakaroon sila ng large influence dun sa bata. Okay? Uh, like friends, mentors, yan, celebrities, political leaders, ayan, ng so, uh, mga leaders sa social media, or online friends. So we should also take note of that. Kasi nga kung ano yung nasa paligid niya, yun ang nakaka, um, nakaka-apekto sa kanila. Okay? So, lalo na ngayon, ang dami ng social media influencers, no? So kailangan subaybayan natin yung mga bata kung sino yung mga fina-follow nila. Okay, baka mamay influencer na yun, hindi magandang example para sa kanya. Okay? So, children pay attention to, to and learn from their parents. Ayan. So, us as adults, as parents, we must be mindful of our actions. Because consciously and unconsciously, nakokopya to ng mga bata. Okay? So, what we do as parents or as an adult does influence our children. So, doon tayo titignan ng mga bata. Baka mamaya sasabihin natin, bawal sila mag-cellphone, pero tayong parents or tayong mga adults, eh, panay cellphone. ba? Diba? So, parent media use is a strong predictor of child media use. So, tayo ang magpapagaya sa kanila. Just as importantly, this is something that is under a parent's control. So, nasa control ng parents yun. Kung ano yung nakikita nila susundin. Pero hindi naman um, talagang nakikita ikokopya na, no? Kasi kung nakita nila at nakopya nila, madali na lang yun masyado. Siyempre, may konting pagpapahirap doon, no? Kasi nga, baka mamaya, hindi sa'yo pala nakopya sa ibang influencer pala. So, you have to do something about it. Yan. Pero minsan, ano tayo, nagde-deny tayo. Hindi naman ako gumagamit masyado ng internet. Kasi trabaho ko naman yun. Eh. Anong gagawin ko? Eh, trabaho ko yun. ba diba? Does that count? Na trabaho ko naman yun, na nasa online ako lagi, naka-work from home ako eh. Counted ba yun? Okay? And also, and when I'm calling your parents, and bawat tinatawagan ko naman nanay ko, kinakamusta ko siya. Diba? Yung tatay ko, kinakamusta ko siya. Yung mga kamag-anak ko, kinakamusta ko. Counted ba yun? ba diba? Eh, ginagamit ko yung internet kapag ka nagluluto ako. ba diba? Kung tagaluto sa amin eh. Kaya kailangan mga bagong recipes daily. 
Diba? O, oh, nakikibalita ko ngayon sa COVID. So, kailangan ko mag-online. Yun lang ba talaga? O, oh, yun lang talaga tinitignan natin, di ba? O, kaya, papa-workout. Uh, new me, kasi 2021 na. O, kaya yung mga... Eh, sa ano ko, eh, tablet ako nagbabasa ng mga ano uh, books. Naka-PDF kasi yung mga books ko. So, minsan, mag-unwind ako using my phone. Hindi ba? Nagde-deny pa tayo sa paggamit natin ng screens natin, 'di ba? Pero pag nagwo-work tayo, want to sawa. Especially teachers, 'di ba? Naranasan natin 'yan. Comment nga tayo sa comment box kung sino na nakaranas niyan na mas marami pa silang time ngayon sa uh, sa trabaho dahil nasa bahay na lang. <laughs> okay. Kasi hindi na natin nililimit yung sarili natin porket nasa bahay tayo, feeling natin nasa bahay naman ni eh, sige lang, okay lang. Hindi na natin alam na sumusobra tayo sa limit natin. Okay? What if we have already entered the vortex? Nandun na tayo. May behavior na tayo na hindi natin mapigilan. Kasi nga itong mga video games, social media, video sites, and other websites, syempre meron yan pinafollow na operant conditioning principles. Kinocondition ka na niya. Meron tayong attention economy. Di ba minsan nakikipag-chat ka lang sa friend mo? Tapos maya-maya, nakikita mo dun pinag-usapan nyo tungkol sa pagpunta mo ng Boracay. Maya-maya, sa Facebook mo, nagre-recommend na ng mga paano, mga Uh, one trip to ganto, 2,000 lang. Oh, di ba? May mga ganun na three days, two nights. Mga ganun na nagsasuggest na. Kasi meron silang um, binabasehan. Okay? So, lalo kang mag-scroll na mag-scroll na mag-scroll. Mag-stick ka na dun sa screen mo. Mas nag-spend ka ng more time sa yung screen. So, in a New York Times article, sabi dun, children's screen time has soared in the pandemic. Alarming parents and researchers. Diba? Sabi nga nila, there will be a period of epic withdrawal. Kapag natapos na daw tong pandemic natin at babalik na tayo sa normal, magkaka-withdrawal pa daw tayo kasi nasanay na tayo sa work from home, looking in our screens, na lahat ng nangyayari sa atin is through our devices. Tapos biglang babalik tayo, magsishift tayo sa normal, magkakaroon pa daw tayo ng withdrawal niyan. So, what are we going to do? So, let's go back to the basics. Ask these questions to yourselves. Who are you engaging with online? Importante ba itong mga ina-engage mo? Mga kachat mo, importante pa ba ito? O nagchichikahan na lang talaga kayo? Ang sobra-sobra. When are you using digital media? Does it get way in the way of connection and communication with others? Is it disrupting other tasks? Yan, nasa tama pa ba? Manaapektuhan ba tayong iba pang pa trabaho? Where are you using screens? Is it interfering with sleep? Minsan, di ba, matutulog na nga lang. Sabi ko sa inyo, isang episode pa eh. Yung kakaisang episode, naka 3 a.m. ka na. Di ba? And what are you doing on digital media? Papahinga ka lang ba? O nasusobrahan na? Di ba? Engaging pa ba yun? Ano ba yung engaging doon? Ano ba yung interesting yun? Ba't ka online? Why are you online? Is it to connect, learn, create, or distract? You have to identify it. What are you not doing due to time spent online? So ano na yung mga hindi mo nagagawa? Ayan, kakaisang episode mo, hindi mo na nagawa yung reaction paper mo. Diba? Yung ipapasa mo, hindi mo na nagawa. Diba? Yung mga bata, kakaisang episode na lang mamatutulog na po ako hindi na nagawa yung mga dapat kawin. Okay, how do you feel or act after using digital media? Ayan, alam ko may mga nakaka-relate dito. Eh. Yung mga nagbabasa sa comment section, tapos sila pa yung affected, kakabasa mo ng mga nasa comment section, ng mga nag-aaway-away, ay ang tagal mo na. Imbis na may nagawa kang ibang task, abay nagbasa ka sa comment section. Pag ang binabasa mo yung tungkol sa pinag-aaralan, or sa topic, or sa trabaho, ang tagal mo basahin. Pero yung sa comment section, inaabangan mo yung reply ng mga hindi mo kakilala, mga strangers doon. So, how is it different from other activities? Paano, ano na feel mo? Baka mamaya galit ka na doon sa mga nakikita mo. Affected ka na noon. May mga naaapektuhan na sa'yo. So, how do you cope up if obsessed ka na? 
Ayan na, hindi ka na kasi natitigil. Na-realize mo ngayon sa talk ko na, hi, oo nga, baka uh, obsessed na ako, na apektuhan na talaga yung pagtulog ko at iba kong trabaho. Okay. Consider the timing of screen time. Does it work better after completing homework, not before bedtime or meal time? Alimbawa, um, magtatrabaho, uh, sisilip ka lang sa Facebook, maging focus ka. Sisilip ako sa Facebook after kong matapos tong task na to. After kong matapos tong trabaho to, pag napasa ko na, tsaka ako magi internet Okay? And pay attention to your child's emotional relationship with screens. Ayan. So, minsan ito, avoid using media as a pacifier. Ito, madalas ito yung nakikita ko to sa mga malls. Yung bata nagwawala, ang gagawin ng magulang, ibibigay yung tablet o yung cellphone. Diba? Imbes na kakausapin yung bata dahil kinukulit siya sabay, siguro naka-work from home si mother or si father, kinukulit ng bata. Imbes na asikasuhin or tignan, bibigyan ng cellphone or ng gadget para lang siya ay tumahimik, hindi na mangulit. Imbis na nag-spend time ka, ikaw kasi, nagsiselfone ka din, scroll-scroll ka din. So, hindi mo na siyang tinitignan para matahimik ka dahil ikaw ay nakatutok din sa k-drama ng kakaisang episode pa, ng isang series pa. ba diba? Para siya ay tumigil, binigay mo naman yung cellphone mo. Eh, sa akin na yung tablet, sa kanya yung cellphone. Para lang tumigil siya. Okay? So, avoid that. Don't expect taking away screen time to solve all the problems. Yan. Baka naman pinagbawalan mo na siya gumamit ng cellphone. So, ano mangyayari sa bata? Pin pinatayan mo na ng Wi-Fi. So, how can the child connect with his or her friends? So, ano mangyayari sa kanya? Mas lalo siyang malulungkot kasi ikaw ba naman isang taon na hindi mo nakakasama yung mga friends mo. And then, pukunin mo pa sa kanya yung gadget niya. Make sure, hindi naman mag-end yung problem doon na kinuha mo yung tablet, kinuha mo yung cellphone, and then pinataya mong wifi. Hindi doon mag-end yung problem kasi hindi lang ikaw niya may intindihan. Okay? You have to talk to your child. And, These are the tips for limiting limit setting. So, i-assess yung sarili mo. You reflect and analyze yourself. Iba sabi kanina, you have to set an example. But you, you have to also be comfortable with it. Have one-on-one -on -one time with your child. Kahit hindi naman siya daily, di ba? Just to check the child. And... Intindihin siya, why is he or she using the screens? Ano yung objective niya? Ano yung nararamdaman niya? If you're clear with that, you may go to the second step. You have to talk to them. Okay? You have to set limits with them. Okay? Again, engage the child in planning. Kasi kapag engage siya, again, pag engage siya, siya doon sa plano, nagtitake responsibility siya doon sa sasabihin niya. Okay? And, di ba, pag pinapatawag natin yung mga estudyante, Parents, pag pinapatawag kayo, di ba, ang sinasabi, o oh, ano yung gusto mong mangyari? Di ba, tinatanong natin yung bata. Ini-involve natin yung bata. Kaharap yung parents, anong gusto mong maging decision natin? Ini-involve natin for them to take responsibility. Part siya nun. Hindi yun decision lang ng parent. And then, take ownership of your own thoughts and feelings and predetermined behavior change on the part of your child. Yan, kailangan natin inote kung nag-iba ba. Kasi kung hindi, you have to talk to them again and set another goal. Baka masyadong mabigat yung sinet niyong goals. ba? Diba? So, believe nga ako eh. To end this, believe ako sa mga parents ngayon. Hindi lang sila um, work from home na employee. Hindi lang sila employee. Kung hindi man sila employee, yung mga gawain sa bahay, mahirap yun. And also, teacher pa sila sa bahay. Kasi yung mga teachers, of course, hindi naman natin ngayon masusupervise na katabi natin sila, di ba? They're taking that part, di ba? And also, as a wife, di ba? Sa friend ng mga bata. Di ba? Hindi nila nakakasama physically yung mga friends nila. So, ang nag-replace nun, Parents. So, ang daming role ng parents ngayon. Kaya sabi ko nga, ang bait ko na ngayon sa mga parents ko eh. Hindi ko na nga masyadong pinapaalalahanan kasi baka minsan na ano na sila sa akin, na nakukulitan na sila sa akin, sabi ko. I have to think then sa side nila na ang galing nila ngayon, na survive nila yun ngayon, ang dami nilang roles. So, for, for the last part, 
let me share this to you. It's not just about reducing screen time, but increasing our human time, our connection with each other, especially with our family. So that's it. Thank you very much, Kabibal. Thank you, Ms. Jillian. Thank you very much, ma'am. Do you have la uh, any last reminders to our viewers for today po? Okay. Thank you very much sa lahat ng nag-support sa akin, especially sa mga teachers sa Nova Liches High School Science Department and of course, uh, my school head, Dr. Luis P. Tagayun. And for my loved ones and friends, and you can also, um, meron pala sa akin nagtanong last time sa live, ano, sabi niya, ma'am, paano daw kapag... Uh, Paano natin malalaman as teachers kung bata bang sumasagot ng mga activities or modules? If you are a teacher, you will know. Tama ba mga teachers? Comment down below. Alam natin yan, lalo na kahit na mga, yung mga um, medyo matatagal na sa service as teachers, ano? Alam nila yan, kahit na hindi tayo gumamit ng ang mga apps pang check ng mga tama at mali nila, tingin pala natin, alam na natin kung gawa ba ng bata yan o hindi. Okay, so if you have more questions, binabasa po natin yan. And also, follow me on my social media account sa aking YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. It's Leigh Ramirez. Thank you very much, Kabiba. See you again next time. There we have it. In behalf of Vibal Group Incorporated, I would like to thank our speaker for today for this very interactive, insightful teaching session. It is an honor to have you with us today, ma'am. And to all our Kavibal viewers, all thanks to you for your continuous patronage to our daily learning session. Don't forget to register to get your e-certificate of participation. We also encourage you to subscribe and watch on our official Vival Facebook and YouTube channel. Muli, maraming salamat at magandang araw sa ating lahat.